Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at how to use BlueJ, how to create a class, how to create methods, how to print something to the console and many others. I'll be using these questions to illustrate how to use the BlueJ. So first they said um, create a new class TV set within your preferred folder and open the editor or source code on the TV set class. So let's create a new project um, and then we name our project TV set, right? And then the location is in my desktop TV set here. So let's go ahead and click on OK. So these are our new TV sets. This is just a readme file. It's just a readme file. So let's ignore this one over here. And it says we should create a new class. So click on this and then name the class TV set and then click on OK. And now if you want to open the source code, which is here, um, open the source code, you double click this um, class to open it. Okay, so that's the source code. And within the source code, they have, they have um, a default code in it. So we are going to change some stuff here to our liking. So the number, it's supposed to be number two, sorry. So it says replace the field declaration with the one which will store your radiation. So this is a field. Here is a field, right? Where we declare our, our variables. So our field, this one will be a radiation instead of the our default X they give us. And it says update your code so that the newly created TV set object will have a variation set to zero. So this way we do it. A radiation set to no, it was set to 10 rather. Okay, so set to 10. Then the next question says replace update the code so that the newly created TV object would have its radiation set to 10. Okay, that's what we did. And then it says replace the sample method in the in the code with another method which retains the radiation. So we have so this is the method over here. This method. We are going to change this method so that it will retain our radiation so let's change the name of the method to um, let's say display radiation or something display ra radiation display radiation and then this method wouldn't take any parameter because we wouldn't use the parameter for anything we are just going to retain our radiation here so use a radiation we use radiation here so this method is going to retain radiation it says add another method which increases the value of the radiation by three so we are going to copy this same method and then create a new method and we call the method increment which will retain the radiation but this time the radiation will be increased by three so radiation is equal to radiation plus three. And then the next one says another method which decrease decreases the value of the radiation by three. So let's copy the same method over here, then create a new method, which this time we will call it decrement. And then it will return radiation, but this time the radiation will be minus three. And now it says add a further method which causes the radiation to be multiplied by the amount passed as a parameter. So this time around, we are going to make some changes to this method over here. So let's copy the method, create a new method, and let's call the method multiplication, multiplication like that, which will take a new param a parameter. The parameter will be of type integer let's say value and now our new radiation will be set to our radiation times the value we passed inside so times the value instead of three so every value we pass inside our radiation will be set to our, our radiation times the value over there and now it says include a method which will print the value with a preferred text Okay, so we are going to print the value to our console with our prepared text. So let's copy this method and then create a new method. This method, let's name it print. Printing, yeah, let's name it printing or something. And then this method wouldn't retain anything. 
so it will be octave void meaning it won't return anything and then we are going to print something so we do a system dot out dot print ln and then because we are going to print a text it will be of type string so we we'll bring this um kind of quotation marks over here so we are going to print without prefixes so we say um our radiation is and then we do a concatenation here concatenation simply means um kind of addition so we print our radiation we put our radiation over here so our radiation is our radiation which is in the field over here radiation so let's remove this plus okay and the next question says include the metal print. the next question says add add in another field which will store whether or not the tv set is turned on or off so we are we we'll head to our fields over here and then we'll create another field this field will be of type boolean because we want to know if it is it is turned on on off and the best data type to use is a boolean which is true or false so we use a stand on our name is turned is turned on and then it says update your constructor so that it also initializes the tv set to be turned off so we come to our constructor that constructor will have the same name as our class so note that so we set our is turned on to be false here initially we to so our tv is turned off over here is turned on false meaning our tv is initially our tv is turned off okay and and the next one says add two further methods which two further methods one one to switch the tv on and the other to switch the tv off so let's go to our method creation over there and then let's copy this method and then let's edit it over there and so let's say let's name our method um on or off something like that here on or off and then this one wouldn't take any parameter because we won't use a parameter here and then let, let's use on instead turned on let's use turn turn on turn on over here and then this one will will not return anything so you bring a type void since it's, it won't return anything it means um hold on this isn't supposed to be there okay so public void turn on and then it won't return it so we, we remove this return keyword over there and then we set our is turned on to be true okay let's copy the same method and let's paste it down there and let's name it is turned off instead and let's um declare our extend on to be false and let's see what else we have add two further methods update your method which prints to the terminal window so that it also reports on whether the unit is on or off so over here let's copy this printing statement over here and then let's print another one and we we'll use um we we'll, we we'll let let's use a tv is turned on a tv turned on a tv turned on and let us add our is turned on over here so if is turn on is true if it says is tv turn on and this place is true means tv is turn on and if is tv turn on and this place is false means tv is not turn on so now we are done is turn on let's see is turn on yes. 
Okay, um, let's copy what we have over here and then let's put it over here. Okay, so let's compile. Let's go ahead and compile. You see, there are, there are no syntax errors over here. Make sure you, ha you don't have any syntax errors. And then let's close our source code over here. And now let's create a new TV set. Saying, um, let's name it TV set one. And then let's go ahead and run some of our method. Let's print to our console. Let's say printing. Let's put in six over there. And then you see our radiation is okay. So I notice a problem here. So let's go ahead and remove this object and open our source code. And over here, printing it shouldn't um shouldn't remove our parameter over there. Let's compile it again because it wasn't the question that we should bring our parameter. And let's create a new TV set and let's name it TV set one. So let's go ahead and run some of our methods. It says printing. We created this printing. Then you can see our radiation is ten is TV ten on false. Okay. So let us increase our radiation. And now you see our radiation is thirteen, uh, no longer ten because we increased it by three. And let's go ahead and run our decrement. And you can see thirteen; it has reduced by three, so it is now ten. And then let's say ten on, and then let's print our this one to the console. You can see it has been it has been turned to false to. It has been changed from false to true because we have now turned our TV on. And let's say display radiation. Let's let's use this multiplication. Let's see whether it works. So let's multiply our radiation by three. Let's go to OK. And now you can see ten times three is thirty. So now our new radiation is thirty over there. Okay. Thank you very much for being with me to this very end here. And make sure you subscribe to my video and like all my videos too.